Captain, and we follow the craft inside of Earth's solar system. They are beside the sun. Luna One, are you getting this? Take a snapshot and we're out of here. Where the hell did you put the flash? Is this camera from Earth? We're supposed to be an advanced race. Now, you're making us look so bad, dude. We're going to go look at some dark triangles that no matter how much the moon is rotated, they are always there and they always are pointing in the same direction. So this is over Mary and Briam, into Mare Serenitatis, along the Apennine Mountains, and we're gonna go see that along the Terminator line. Then we talk about the moon. There is Cassini Crater, and there are the triangles. Well, the surface of the moon, black triangles, no matter what rotation that moon does, it still remains there. That's a light moving around the surface. Speaking of lights, are they that advanced on the surface of the moon, the ones there, or in the atmosphere of the moon? If we're seeing smokes, like prep propulsion propellants that are behind these objects we could see fuel or whatever they're using right it's something floating around or is it just the reaction that these objects are having as they're entering the atmosphere of the moon right all the smokes and the hazes on the surface now each light has different characteristics there's many things that the pentagon says that i don't necessarily believe but i'll tell you one thing that i do believe that they were right about because don't forget they're not going to lie about everything right uh, little truths as you look at these objects in the atmosphere, illuminating the smokes and hazes in the atmosphere of the moon. The Pentagon said that the characteristics of each event are different. Watch the black line that went by that line of uh, light and look at the other one appear. So yeah, there are different lights and different characteristics. That's what I'm showing you all. So again, little truths and big lies. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they do. So let's see that again. We're on the surface of the moon, exposure taken right down so that we can see what's going on. And this UFO is going to illuminate another passage of another UFO. There it is, the line just went by, and the second UFO. And at the same time, the second UFO, and even the first one, is illuminating the smoke and haze um, on the surface, or that more or less looks like it's definitely coming from that object. So what are these objects that are smoking the surface, right? Natural or not, alien or human? You really have to wonder. So look at what they look like once they take off the UFOs. You scared yet? They look like the same reflectivity as the surface. They're absolutely invisible. They blend in with the surface. They're very hard to see unless you see all. <laughs> I had to say that. So check it out. The light, a dark object with a big bright light behind it, and it's going towards the right. So this is propelling it, whatever it is, or for whatever the reason that object that is in the atmosphere of the moon has a bright light behind it and it plunges look at it look at it look at it it's incredible here's the conversion there it is illuminating so bright hey, get this it illuminates so bright that it shows us the ufo in front of it because the fire is so intense that it's showing the object that's in front and let me say the object is really big but so is the fire around it absolutely incredible check this out infrared just the other night my friends, to, uh, last night actually, um, before the clouds came out. We just finished a rainstorm right now. Here's some cool captures. And again, um, going over uh, my head right over the house. They're all over the sky. You can see um, lots of them doing um, a lot of very unique um, things. Like, for example, the best is the directional change. But check it out. Some of them sometimes have odd shapes. One of them is going to look like it has wings at the back, but you're going to see one intensely flashing. This one, sorry about that, I'm 
uh, deliberately fast forwarding it for you because I want you to see that it, it was very long. It was like 10 minutes. But look at the different shape. Um, maybe not 10 minutes, five minutes. Look at the uh, five minutes sped up. Look at the shape and form of it. It remains the same form, but the intensity of the light gets a lot smaller and brighter and then smaller and then brighter and then really, really small. So you can see it during all that time that it's always changing different intensities of lights and you could <laughs> sorry you could clearly see it's not the sun the ones that come over the horizon sure the sun can show us them and then cut it off but here's that one with the the wings i call on it, it looks a little different it, it's hard to pick up on the characteristic changes right um of these objects and then and, and to differentiate them from the others but they really do have a lot of unique things that they do each of them and, and this one check it out as we watch it um, just play around. The light will go up a lot. It's not going fast at all, actually. This isn't slowed down. This is real time. And uh, you'll see the different um, the different um, intensities of these lights. So here it went up a lot stronger than it usually goes up. And it gets right down almost completely invisible, you know. And here is the conversion of it. I think it's pretty cool. We'll slow it down a little bit. To see what happens so look at the intensity of light that's pretty wide and, and honestly seeing it in the sky it's pretty wide too because don't forget if you have an infrared camera there's ufos that you capture with the infrared camera that nobody can see with the eyes unless you have an infrared camera you're not going to capture these lights you'll see some in the sky absolutely but you're not in any way going to see the ones that are hidden from your eyes our eyes have a certain wavelength obviously and uh, these objects have different wavelengths not the ones that we can see but obviously the ones we cannot comet neowise when it went by not long after that the pandemic so many things come to mind right what's this ufo shooting at that's right is a ufo going uh, in the line of view, uh, behind the tail end of Neowise, or over top, in front of it, whatever, however you want to see it. But look at the line that's coming from this UFO. Now, how many UFOs have I showed you that look like strings, lines, right? Like Oumuamua sort of shaped. These are several um, lights together, all jumbled up, going by, whatever it may be. But definitely something that came from it. Looks like it's shooting behind um, the tail of Neowise. So I said, that's interesting. Lots of objects go by in the solar system. It's incredible. And the rare occasions we get to get them. Look at that. You want to know how, how um, you know it's real? Watch it fly away. We'll show it to you another way. You see the object is far away. And only a few frames. It's right up to the sun. Looks like it's going to smack into the sun, but we'll see on the other side. I'm off here because it wasn't too wide what was going on. And here you'll see it again go away. And it's literally going around the sun. You could see that it's in a rotation around the sun, and that's pretty cool. So ladies and gents, when you want to find structures on the surface of the moon, and uh, those just arriving, just subscribing, thanks you so much for the interest it's my full-time job. I need you to subscribe if you are interested in the channel and like um, the video and thumbs up. Um, what's this? Um, yeah, that is a structure. Side by side, several structures, right? Why would there be bumps side by side of the same size? Even if we can't see them close up, we know that they're constructed. But we got everything in this video, UFOs, structures, infrared UFOs, explosions, anomalies in the sky with the infrared camera, like we're looking at right there. Now, the heat intensity of this is not very strong. Look at all the stars, even if they're small, you always see that intense light, and it goes by heat. It's infrared, gathers up heat signatures. Now, look at this very interesting object going by. It looks like a straight bar with some, you know, objects uh, anomalies around it occurring here's the explosion let's look at it slowed down to the point where we see it just starting to spark up it's an incredible finding doesn't look like much eh oh wait till i slow it down the explosion is so fast and it's ginormous what do you think of that yes that's the same explosion you saw 
quickly. I just slowed it down. That's exactly what's going on. It's this massive flash of light that, of course, the eye doesn't even pick it up, even watching it like this as much. But it was almost, as you can see, almost the whole screen. Let's look at it in slow motion. So the small object is going by. In reality, can you see it? I saw it. There's an object really far in deep space exploding. It's definitely an explosion. There's no two ways about it. It's the brightest thing I've ever seen with the infrared camera, except for that close UFO that was over the house, of course, right over my roof. Imagine. Check it out. Massive explosion. So now we're going to really slow it down because I really want to see this. There it is now. It's, it's going to appear in a couple of seconds. Prepare yourself. The star is lighting up in the background there on the right. Whoop, it's not a star. It's moving around, isn't it? On the right, that circle there. And boom. Massive, massive explosion in deep space. Let's see it even slower. Is that what I'm going to do? No, we're going to get in even closer. So now it's going to be the whole screen. The object's a lot larger going upwards, that little light, which was very far or small, small or far. Watch the explosion. What happens when the explosion starts? Frame per frame, you see lights all over the place. I could see the object right in the center there. It was a massive explosion. Something collided, right? Or something was deliberately exploded. De deliberately. You never know. Maybe this object is watching that object blow up. Maybe this object blew up that object. Can you flash for us once? You're acting weird. Ooh. Oh. You're teasing? Thanks. There's another one. You both flash for me? Really big flash. Well, it's pretty big. How about three short flashes? Never seen that before. Oh, that was a short one. Oh, you're teasing me. Oh, that's exciting. I want to see short flash, quick flash, quick flash, long flash. Most likely, in less than two years, they will disclose what's on the moon because I'm getting my scope by then. So if not, we'll disclose together. Cause the slow just coming soon. 